Ryan with Pile here. Today I'm going to do a quick little feature tutorial for our PLC-MH5 and it's our new portable wireless trailer camera backup system. This is a chargeable system. You can actually charge it up in your home and quickly and easily set up any different car because it doesn't require any direct wiring to your vehicle. Go over the different pieces in the kit. We have the receiver unit. This is going to display the screen and receive the video feed from the camera into your cab. Here's the camera. Pretty small, compact. You can adjust the angle on it. It's waterproof after you put the cap, the end cap, over the antenna and the charging port. Actually, it has a magnetic base that's going to fit onto the three suction cup fitting here. We also have some cables, a cigarette adapter with the two charging ports for both the receiver and the camera are both rechargeable. So neither have to be direct wired to your vehicle. And also, you can charge from within your home as well. But if you choose, you can direct wire your receiver to your car. If you're using it within the same vehicle and not moving it around, it may make more sense just to do a direct wiring. The receiver also has a video out you can use to send the video to any other screen. So here we have the unit hooked up to the charging well. We're going to let it sit here for a good four hours before we're going to use it. That'll be enough time for it to get a full charge on both batteries. Once you finish charging the unit, installing should be pretty simple. All we're going to do for the camera is take the three suction cup mount and firmly place it on a trunk or available surface. The magnet base is going to sit firm right on top. Then on the bottom, we're going to tighten up the nut so the camera can't move around. Also for weather's sake, we're going to want to install the waterproof cap here. Slip it over the antenna. The last thing we're going to want to do is install the receiver somewhere where you can see it on your dash. The mount will slip into the holes here. Remove the suction cup protector. We're going to do it on the window. Just lock it in place. And the mount on back will hook over. This is actually some packaging still left over. You peel that off later. Press and hold the power button. And the camera will boot up showing you the rear view. As you can see, right behind my car. So we can test the range of the unit. Here we are right next to the camera. I'm just going to back away. Still a clear image here at about 25 feet. While I'm driving, I actually don't need to see behind me, so what I've done is I've switched off the receiver. But there's a real convenient power button right in the front here. You can press and hold anytime you want to see the reverse feed. There we go, that's my reverse. 